Hi guys, it has been a while. I am sorry about that, but I am here today with a Goodwill Bins haul video for you guys. I went to the bins the other day and got a bunch of stuff. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna try not to make this haul like an hour long because I have a lot of things, but I'm gonna try to roll through them really quickly. Um, if you are coming back to my channel after several months, <laughs> thank you so much for coming back. Welcome back. Hello, it's good to see you. Um, and if you're new to my channel, my name is Macy and I am a full-time fashion reseller. I sell on sites like Poshmark, eBay, Mercari, my own website, bloomconsignment.com, and a couple of others. And I sell women's fashion for the most part. Um, a little bit of men's, but I think almost everything in this haul is women's. Maybe I got a few pairs of men's jeans, but I'm excited to get into it with you guys. So let's just jump in. First up, we're starting it off with a bang because we got a Christian Dior um, vintage, does it say what size? Oh, one size, yeah, silk uh, robe. I had looked this one up because I have never found Christian Dior before and I had no idea what kind of prices we're going to be looking at, but prices are a little bit all over the place, cops. We're going anywhere from 30 to 95 so and that was just for the first few that I saw I didn't I don't know if I found this exact one with like this paisley print but it appears to be in pretty good shape I don't know why no one had picked it up yet at my bins there's a good you know eight to ten bins in a row and they'll switch out the whole row and then the people come <laughs> they swarm for like five to ten minutes and then everyone disperses like I had the the whole row to myself after ten minutes so I was like where did everybody go <laughs> like, like there has to be good stuff in here still so I I don't know I feel like I both am I feel like I'm pretty lucky with my bins like people aren't too aggressive I feel like they are for the first ten minutes and then afterwards it's like I can usually find some things if I take my time digging through the bin yeah Okay, moving on. Just keeping on with the vintage train. I just said I was going to try not to make this a long haul and I'm already like talking up a storm. It's been a while guys. I, I need to talk to you. Lee Anderson, size small. This is a vintage sweater. It's thin knit. thought it had some cool details with like just some patches and stuff. I don't know. I looked up the brand. It appears to be doing pretty good for vintage sweaters and I couldn't find any exactly like this but I just thought it was unique and I thought I would give it a chance. I've been dipping my toe into Depop more and everything over there is so unique that like I feel compelled to pick up more vintage and unique things. Um, here's another vintage. It's called Jane Irwin and it is a maxi dress with these cool orange buttons down the front. Um, little short sleeves, ribbed knit, uh, I don't know, comes in look like super awesome for Jane Irwin, but I could not find anything like this dress, and this dress is like just so cool to me. I might even try it on and see if it fits, fits me because I love stuff like this, but we'll see. I will put the listings up over here so that you can see what kind of prices I'm aiming for. Um, on Poshmark, I price everything 30% higher than what I'm, uh, what my lowest of what I'm hoping to sell it for is. So, and then my absolute cheapest prices will always be on my website, blueconsignment.com. So if you see anything in this haul that speaks to you and you want it, go on over there and check out to see what my lowest price would be for that item. Not everything that I'm going to show here is going to go up for sale. Some of the things that I'm going to show are going to go into flip lots. Um, because I've been doing more of those so this will probably go into a flip lot. This is a Hollister sweater. It is cropped. It's a pretty lavender color and it's got some lace-up detail going on in the back. Nothing too exciting here, bread and butter, but Hollister is a brand that was accepted on flip and this is in style. Mixed it. This was the last thing I found in the in the bins as I was heading over to the checkout. I didn't even need to go. I went the whole way around 
to go to the checkout line and then I found out that the two ladies that were in front of the cash register weren't even in line. So I didn't need to go the whole way around because I just went right right into the cash register. Oh well. Found this on my way. <laughs> so Talbots. It is a uh, size 16P and it's a navy blue. Is this wool? Feels like some sort of wool jacket. It is wool. And it has a still a button in a bag here. It's kind of cool. Uh, wool polyester viscose blend. Navy blue with floral lining blazer. I thought this was new with tags, but I think I just uh, for some reason thought this was an actual tag, and of course it's not. <laughs> Talbots is one of those brands I've been picking up more and more because it has just been selling really well, especially whenever you get it in those larger sizes. Easy peasy bread and butter item there. This is a Fabletics size small. I knew this was a pair of Fabletics leggings right away because I own this style of Fabletics leggings. Fabletics is one of my absolute favorite brands to wear. I swear like half my closet at this point is Fabletics because um, they make really nice active wear and why would I wear uncomfortable clothing whenever I'm working from home? Why wouldn't I just wear comfortable athletic wear the whole the time? So that's what I've been doing. I'm not sure how much I'm gonna get for these exactly, but I'm probably gonna shoot for around 20. Next up, we got a pair of Cabela's. Um, this is an outwear, outdoors, uh, sportswear, hunting, fishing, that kind of stuff. Like a dick sporting book goods, but it's Cabela's for hunting people. A uh, pair of jeans. They have lots of park pockets, cargo style jeans. Um, size 32. Yep. I didn't look up comps for these. Maybe I should have because I haven't sold Cabela's jeans for women. I'm... I know that the men's stuff can do pretty good. I don't know about the women's, but this is a good size pair of jeans. They're in good condition. Um, if nothing else, it should be an easy $15, $20 float. This was cute. A little BCBG Paris. Ooh, what's this? Oh, interesting. I don't know what these front straps are for. Probably just tie into a bow in the front, probably. Yeah, but look at how cute this is. I just thought this was adorable. Alert, there's a little bit of yellowing on the inside. I don't know if this like, if this is a vintage or like Y2K type tag we got going on here. But the dress itself, like on the outside, is in really good shape. And I just thought it was very cute. This pattern's super fun, good for spring. I didn't find any like holes or anything, so. I don't always pick up BCBG, it depends on the style. It's just such a hit or miss brand nowadays. This is a Max Studio size large. It is just a maxi skirt, but I have found that the maxi skirts from Max Studio can sell relatively quickly. So I found a few of them at the bins and I decided to give them a shot. Next up, this is also a brand I typically will leave behind at the bins. It is Forever 21 but I just thought this was a really pretty dress and perfect for this upcoming spring and summer season. If I could figure out how to hold it. Here we go. It's a size medium. It is a slip maxi dress with a tropical color. Oh, hello pants. Jumpsuit. I didn't even know it was a jumpsuit. I thought it was a maxi dress. Well, even better. <laughs> Jumpsuits sell pretty well, so um, Forever 21, not gonna get a ton for it, but the style is very pretty. I think it'll do as well as you can do with a Forever 21 piece. Next up, these are interesting. It's American Eagle, one of my favorite bread and butter brands to sell. This is the skater jean, which I've never even seen or heard of or anything before, so this was new to me. Let me see when these are from, because this is kind of interesting. Skater jean. Yeah, 421, guys. These are a recent style. Look at that. Wow. So, these are super distressed. <laughs> like, ridiculously, ridiculously distressed. 
And I picked up another pair of ridiculously distressed um, jeans at the bins. The other, just the last previous time I went, um, and they had a stain on them that I wanted to try to get out, but I ran out of OxyClean, so they're still downstairs. And these also have a little stain. I saw it here, yeah, on the knee. So I'm going to put these with that other pair, get those stains out if I can, and if not, I'm just going to list them with the stains, um, and then see how they do. But this is, I mean, I'm so curious to see how all this sells, because look at that giant hole right below the butt. I mean, it is below the butt, so it's like a pair of shorts with like more jean material, and I know I have seen people in jeans like this, and I know that they can... Uh, I know that people wear them. I wish I could model them. If I was a size 8, I would model those because then I know that they would sell well on like Depop because people sell stuff like that on Depop all the time. But I can't model them because I'm not that size and I will just look ridiculous in those. So <laughs> you need a nice butt, you know? The, the butt is what sells whenever you got a big distress mark right below the butt cheek. Alright, here's a J. Crew. Um, I do not typically pick up this style of jean. It is the matchstick jean, but this one is a size 31, which is a good size, and I looked these over and they're in really good shape. So, I'm gonna move this bag because it keeps... Blah. I keep hitting it and I, I, I'm sure it's annoying hearing the bag rustle all the time. Okay, anyways. These are in good shape. Good size, J. Crew. I figured why not? You know, the bin's pricing is so low. I'm like, I'm just gonna get them. And then, you know, if they only sell for $10 or whatever, it's not the end of the world. There's a ch good chance they'll sell for more. All right, we got a men's item. Uh, untuck it. This is a buffalo plaid check. Check print in navy blue and uh, royal blue, size extra large, just button front shirt, untuck it, usually does pretty well for me, um, easy, easy sell, needs a little cleaned up, but we'll just get that, get that cleaned up and on the uh, websites. <laughs> oh, this was cute, oh my gosh. Anna and Rose. I have no idea what Anna and Rose is. It sounds like just some boutique brand you would find at like TJ Maxx or something. But look how cute this is. It is a floral embroidered um, tie-dye blue little cardigan kimono type deal. Like I just thought it was adorable, you know? I've so I've done pretty well with um, little, little kimono type tops like this before, little cardigans. Oh yes, this was my one and only free people find that was not stained to the high heavens. We got the marvelous free people in a size extra small, little, what is this? A shirt, right? A little tunic type tank top. A uh, little crisscross going on on the sides. Uh, elastic smocked bust. That continues into the back with a keyhole. Fun little floral pattern, good for spring. Does it have pockets? Uh, yes. <laughs> I can sense it. <laughs> it's like, you feel heavy enough to have pockets. I love this, I think it's adorable. Very interested to see how it does. All right, let's go into bag number two. Real quick. I'll show you guys this guy because he's kind of hanging out by himself. Might be one of my best finds. I haven't looked up comps yet, but we got a Woolrich. Very good brand for sweaters and other warm weather or cold weather. Cold weather clothing. Nice little fur collar there. This is a trench coat. Trench coats can be very hit or miss, so I'm not sure. 100% sure this will do well, but like it has a full fur lining guys. I mean, come on. Woolrich good, high quality expensive brand combined with the fact that it has a fur lining 
I mean, it's in really good shape. I was excited to find this. Hopefully it does well. All right, second bag, second bag. Under Armour, Under Armour, size small. This is a whole pair of cropped capri, uh, capri leggings. They were trying to sell them for $10.99. Come on, come on. Sometimes you can't, like, I find these on Dollar Day for a dollar, so like, I don't know why they're trying to sell these for $10.99. I even debated whether to pick these up or not because they have just like, oh, where did I see it? Somewhere in the crotch, yeah. Like, you can see the um, stitching is like bunching up a little bit. It doesn't really affect like the wearability of the leggings or anything. It's just a flaw that you would need to note whenever you're listing it and stuff. So I was like, do I take them? Do I leave them behind? If they didn't have this little tag hanging off of them saying 10.99, I might have just left them behind. <laughs> ah, I'm influenced sometimes by the tags. Another pair of athletic gear we got going on. Asics, which is a, typically I find their shoes do really well. I, I don't know if I've ever even found a pair of Asics um, clothing, shorts or anything, size small. Very cute little pattern though. Love this little running short. Very colorful, geometric, fun design. Thought these were cute. Probably going to flip flop. I have an athletic one growing. I, I've been trying to make the flip flops like um, uh, category specific or brand specific. Separating into categories like that is like pretty uh, helpful for getting a lot picked up because I feel like people, you know, they have their styles and their brands that they like to sell and so if they can find a lot that matches that, they're gonna apply for it. Um, especially if things are in season. Anything that's winter I'm leaving out right now and anything that's spring and summer I'm putting up on to flip because people are gonna be more interested in getting those spring and summer items right now than they are the winter items because they only have 90 days to sell the items unless they extend, which is an extra 45 days. Um, and you might want to pick up the things that are actually more likely to sell right now, you know? This next thing is a pair of Levi's jeans. They are the 515 boot cut in a size 31. Yeah, I love 31. Look at the cute embroidered pockets back there. Good Levi's, Levi's style jeans. Found out today, I was looking at my, uh, stocks <laughs> and i had invested in levi's and um yeah I, I i invested at the right time but i did not pull out at the right time because i could have made quite a bit but i left my money in there and now it's gone back down to what i paid for it pretty much <sighs> yeah i think they should do well i'm not too worried about these uh easy bread and butter item easy list love selling size 31 jeans. Here is a Lauren, Ralph Lauren, black knit striped sweater. Ooh, yes, it is. I was like, where's the neckline? <laughs> it's a cardigan, so <laughs> it's just got buttons down the front. <laughs> Losing it, guys, seriously. It's a silk blend. Um, it just was really nice. I was like, this feels nice. It feels quality. It feels new. I looked it over. It looks new. Looks like it's like never even been worn. So yeah, that's the main reason I picked it up because I do not always pick up Lauren Ralph Lauren. It's a very hit or miss brand. I've had something sit forever and not sell for anything. This is a Chico's size 2. Little leopard uh, zip front jacket. Moto style with a collar, knit jacket, size 2 is vanity sizing, I don't know what it stands for, um, I will have to research that, and I don't know how I feel about Chico's, I was kind of debating this one, especially because it's not in like perfect condition, it does have material wear, but I like the leopard print. Leopard print is what sold me. Plus the style's pretty nice. Iffy about that one. Here we got a logo 
by Lori Goldstein, size large. A nice purple sweater with a lace ruffle hem. I've never really had an issue selling this, this brand for, you know, it's a bread and butter item again, maybe $20. I wanted to look this one up, but I just didn't. Uh, Obey Propaganda. So Obey is a brand I've heard of before and it's been a really long time since I last sold it, but the last time I did sell it, it did well. So I'm not sure if Obey Propaganda is the same brand as Obey. So I, based on the look of this men's shirt, I'm assuming that it is. And uh, hopefully it does as well as it did for me last time. <laughs> size large. I did not really mean to pick this up. <laughs> I just liked it. I just thought it was cute and I guess I put it in my cart not really uh thinking too hard about it. Maybe I was gonna research it and just never did. But it's a little Pink Floyd burnout shirt for an 18 month old baby. <laughs> Very cute. Absolutely adorable. You know maybe the the mom rocks a lot of graphic tees and she wants her child to also rock the graphic tee along with her. Probably won't sell for a lot because it's just a kid's shirt, but it's cute, right? I mean, if nothing else, it'll make me smile while I'm listing it. This is a Snows Performance jacket. This is actually a pretty exciting find. Size large. I've only sold the brand Snows one other time before. Snow... Snow Zoo? knows you. I don't, I don't know how it's pronounced. I'm sorry. There's a U at the end. I'm not really saying, but this is a very nice jacket. It looks to be in excellent shape. All right. We got an Airy by American Eagle, size medium, just a pullover sweatshirt and then beige color. It's in really good shape. Just your simple, simple pullover, oversized for sure. Probably will be a flip lot item there. Here we got a pair of American Eagle, size eight, love size eight, real flare jeans. Nothing wrong with that. Flare is coming back. Skinny is going out. Everything else is coming in. <laughs> I don't know. Is flare coming back? I just saw a gaggle of like college age people walk by me while I was on a walk the other day and they were all wearing the same thing. <laughs> all of them were in high rise mom jeans with crop tops, crop sweaters, every single one of different color sweaters, but all the same jeans. I was like, wow. Okay. This is an exciting find. This is a loft new with tags which was awesome but look at how cute this is like white with blue navy blue light blue it's just so cute i wish it was a size small or extra small because i would totally totally keep this for myself but alas it is a medium and it i'm sure will sell very quickly because it is adorable and i don't know what it's doing in the bins you do not deserve the bins. You deserve a better life. All right. Emily Daniels, size 1X. Uh, blue striped little knot front sweater. Uh, I did not look up this brand. I don't know anything about it, but this sweater was very nice and it was right beside this sweater. And I was just like, I'm gonna give you a chance. I probably should have looked it up, but Size 1X is a really good size. I have no problem selling things, even if they're no name brand at that size. So, giving it a chance because it's a very nice long sleeve top. Sweater top? I don't know. I kind of struggle with, with tops like this, whether to call them sweaters or just long sleeve tops, because it's like, it is a knit, but it's lightweight, you know? So, it's a sweater, right? I don't know. What do you guys think? Sweater? This one is a unique, unique pickup for me. Cold Water Creek, um, size extra large. It is a Southwestern style. Maybe you could call this a shacket. 
Does this classify as a shacket, guys? Because it's like, you know, shirt jacket, shacket. It is heavy. I think I would, I would definitely use the keyword shacket for this. Heavy, heavy sh shirt jacket. Pocket on the front. Very interested to see how this does. Even if it doesn't go for a ton, it's just an experiment. I don't find things with this cool southwestern pattern all that often. All right, we got a bra here. It is do with tags. Love that. Baki. B A C I. Size 14, 18. Bras are sometimes a really easy pick up and sell from the bins. I just picked up a strapless bra the last time I was at the bins. It sold within a day of listing it. Easy, easy, easy list, easy sell. All right, last bag, guys. We are in the home stretch. I'm sorry if this was a long video. I'm trying my best. We got a Wrangler Blues pair of jeans. Here we go. They're very nice. They're in great, great shape. Um, they are a size. Oh no. Oh, there it is. Oh gosh. You don't normally find it on the fly like this. It's interesting. Is it a button fly? No, it's a zip fly. Um, size 16, 32. 16 by 32. Uh, yeah, I mostly picked them up because of the size and the style. They just look nice. Here we got a dress possibly for myself. Olive and oak, size small. It is just a simple, um, you know, tie front striped dress. Feels very nice, nice and comfy, comfy casual. These are the type of dresses that I like to wear in the summer because it's just easy, slip on, go about your day. And unless this brand is worth something that I don't know about, Olive and Oak, I can't remember if that's a decent brand or not. I'm probably just gonna keep that for myself. Next up, we have a airy bralette in a size medium. Very cute, look at that. Awesome. A uh, little bit of pilling I have to take off. I can use my uh, sweater shaver to just very carefully get that pilling right off of there. And then these will be good to go. Otherwise, it's in good shape. Um, cute racer back. Is that a racer back? Crisscross back? Yeah, not really racer back. Style bralette in this nice pink color. Uh, we got a, another springy spring dress by Blue Rain, which I believe you can find at Francesca's. Um, just a simple, cute fit and flare with this pretty baby floral, not really baby floral, which is floral, uh, in this cream color. Love it. Little layered hem there. Just good for spring. I'm looking for things that I can sell right now, you know? Next we got a Victoria's Secret. Size small, Henley. Top, might put this on the flip. A pair of American Eagle. I've not been having the best of luck finding a lot of American Eagle jeans. Sometimes I go to the bins and it's just like, American Eagle jean, American Eagle jean, American Eagle jean. Sometimes I've been, I mean, the past two times I went, it's been, a, it's been a little bit difficult to find, but this is a pair of jeggings in a size two. They are distressed and they appear to be in really good shape. Oh, just, well, there is a stain right there. Add this to the pile of American Eagle jeans with stains that I'm going to try to get out. I'm trying to leave behind things with stains because it is just really time consuming trying to get stains out and I'm not that good at it. So half the time I try to get it out, spend the time, and then it doesn't come out anyways. So then I either list it with the stain or I redonate it. And so I'm just trying to leave the things behind because I'm like, I'll be back to the bins or to whatever thrift store I'm going to another time and I'll find a lot more things to sell. I don't need to be picking up things with stains and flaws that just make things more difficult to sell or make me spend more time, you know? I'm trying to be more selective, be strong, and don't pick up things that are good, but will take time. I'm going on too long about this. White House Black Market, size two. Um, halter dress, black and white. It's in really good shape. 
Uh, just a little, little party dress. Good for summer. Rounding down to the last couple items here, guys. We got a Max Studio size small. Here is another one of those maxi skirts that I was discussing earlier. Navy blue, white, and tan striped. It's in really good shape. Next we got a another loft sweater, size large. It has got a chiffon hem um, with a print. And it's a textured light blue color. Again, great for spring, great size. Got a lot going for it. I know loft is not worth a ton, but if I know something's gonna be an easy sell, then I will pick it up regardless. Silence and noise, size small. Look at this, super duper cropped <laughs> sweater. Like this is like just covering the boobs cropped, you know what I mean? Yas. Interested to see how this does. Might add this to a flip lot. This was one of my very first finds at the bins. It is a loft new with tags. Originally $79.50, Julie trouser in a size 14. Just your simple black career work pants, which still sell well, well for me and get a lot of attention. So I still continue to pick them up whenever I can find them for a good price and in a style that I can advertise. This is an Urban Outfitters brand called Cooperative. It is a size small and I debated really hard whether I wanted to pick this up or not, but it is a very cute daisy print skirt. Skirt, skirt. Um, it does have pockets, so I think that might have helped sell me on it. It needs steamed badly. It'll look a lot better once it's steamed. Nice and clean. Oh, this was a good find. I forgot about you. Um, this is an anthropology brand called O. Dill? O-D-I-L-L-E. It has a sailboat and lighthouse print. I have sold a skirt very similar to this, but with musical notes and musical staffs all over it. And that sold for like 30 bucks. So hoping the uh, lighthouse sailboats will also do very well as a little novelty type skirt. Remember that word guys, novelty comes in handy for stuff like this. I found a bunch of collot pants like this. They're by American Eagle. They're in a size extra small. This is the only one I picked up because the other ones were either worn or just not a style that I thought was cute. And if I'm gonna be picking up American Eagle, it has to be cute or it has to be a pair of jeans that are a good style because otherwise you won't get anything for it. Textured, baby floral print, light pink color, lace up details on the front it's got a lot going for it does not have any tags on the inside but i am 99 percent positive it is an american eagle size extra small because that's what the other ones were that were right beside it all right we got a swimsuit set guys this is um la hearts by pac sun uh and i checked the crotch because you know that's the uh the important area for a swimsuit bottom especially Crotch is in great shape. See nothing wrong with it. Um, and it's a very cute swimsuit. Love this uh, muted rainbow colorful striped thing going on. Um, nice lace cross up back detail there. I'm excited about this. Sorry guys, I know I said just a few more, but we still got a few more. <laughs> We're getting very close. Universal thread size large. This is again one of the very first items I found whenever I got to the bins and I just really liked it. It's heavy which means it probably costs a lot but <laughs> that's okay. Um, it's got cable knit detailing, some metallic threads, very pretty colors. This will sell really well come fall but right now it's probably gonna take a while to sell. This is a pair of American Eagle jeans. I'm surprised I got another pair. I forgot about this pair. Um, Tom Girl, size 12. Great size. Distressed. I keep expecting something to be wrong with them. I'm gonna have to look them over. But they appear to be in pretty good shape. 
I know I looked them over in the store, but hopefully I, I didn't miss anything because these are a good find if they are in good shape. There we go. Love that, love that for sure. Next we got a pair of Hollister men's jeans. They are in our th size 31, 30. Just your simple dark wash. Yep, nothing uh, too exciting here. Hollister men's jeans, easy list, easy sell. So I picked them up. We got a Victoria's Secret. Hello, what are you? Oh no, is this broken? <gasps> no, I didn't realize. It doesn't even matter, it's all messed up. What the crap? All right, well, I don't know if you could see that, but like we got broken straps happening here. Oh, that sucks. Oh well, this didn't, I mean, weighs like half a pound maybe. So lost like 70 cents perhaps. Half a pound, eh, maybe like four ounces. <laughs> lost like 30 cents. <laughs> Tanjay, Tanjay, um, size 14. Look at how pretty this shirt is. I just thought this was very pretty. I like the sleeves and the daisies. Uh, it's in great, great condition. I don't know anything about this brand, but like, come on. I'm not gonna leave this behind. Too cute. Love it. All right, we got a Velvet by Graham and Spencer, which is a good brand. Good. Uh, expensive. And this is just a little pink slip dress. Maybe it used to be under something else. Who knows? Regardless, the slips from dresses can sell well by themselves. So don't hesitate picking them up, especially if they're by a good brand. There was a slip dress that I sold from some sort of more expensive brand a while ago. I might be able to, I'll, I'll put information up if I can figure it out, but it sold for, for a good bit. I don't, I don't remember how much, 40, 50 bucks, but it was just a, a simple slip dress. Undergarments can still do well. Here we got a Not Your Daughter's Jeans. I am more selective with Not Your Daughter's Jeans. This is not the ridiculously <laughs> old tag. You would know it if you saw it, I guarantee you. Oh, I have sold this this uh, style before, the Maryland Straight. It is done well. I think it's a size 10 P. There you go. They're in good shape. This is a good style. People seek it out. I think, I think, if I'm recalling correctly, should be an easy sell. All right, last, last ones, guys. These are all the same. And it is an airy size small, and they're just a bunch of bralettes that are all the same, but yep. There were a ton of these for some reason. <laughs> the person donated their whole collection of this particular bralette in every single color. And I just picked out the ones that were in decent shape. Some of them were looking pretty rough, but some of them were, were not. Like some of them look like they had never even been used. So got those and uh, I'm just gonna sell them together in a lot. All right, guys, that is all that I have for you today. I hope that you enjoyed this little welcome, welcome back video. <laughs> uh, come back, hello again. I will try not to leave you forever video. I hope that you enjoyed. If you did enjoy, go ahead and hit that like button down below. I don't know how to move my eyebrows up and down. There we go. Are they moving? I don't know. If you aren't already and you are enjoying my reselling content, whether it be this video or any of the others that I've done in the past, feel free to hit that subscribe button down below. Thank you all so much for watching this video all the way through. You are the real MVPs and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!